Hi. Hey everyone, what's up? I'm going live with the shark. Hey guys, what's up? Hi everyone, I'm waiting for Vivian to join. Uh, Vivian's here. What's up, Vivian? All right, Here we go. Let's go live. Hi, Vivian. Hi. Hi. I got my uh, little shark tooth here, special occasion, talking Cute. to Gubby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what's up? Um, just kind of hanging out. Yeah. Well, we're getting a sequel. That's really cool. You excited? Yeah, I'm very excited. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, uh, yeah, uh, I just remember it's bringing back memories, like from set when you said avocado smash. That was funny. I remember <laughs> that. That was really funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was really funny. And then, um, remember when I th you wanted a bearded dragon and uh, you were making that little list, and I helped you out. Uh, it was like behind the classroom scene. It's pretty cool. I remember that. I would just have you and I think it was Nathan because Nathan has two bearded yeah. dragons. I think I would have you and Nathan come over and yeah. just help me out during classroom scenes. And all the yeah. other kids were like, what is happening right now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I heard you love Harry Potter. Yes, I love Harry Potter. I am a Slytherin. What about you? Um, I'm a Ravenclaw. But uh -huh. I uh, lost my Ravenclaw thing. I couldn't get back into it. So I took the test again. And, like, I I kept getting Slytherin because I kept uh -huh. taking it um, to get, like, a <laughs> oh, yeah, Gryffindor or Ravenclaw. Ravenclaw. Yeah. <laughs> and it kept being Slytherin, 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 Slytherin. Yeah. Slytherin. That, that's what happened like... <laughs> to me. I kept getting Hufflepuff. I'm like, I'm not a Hufflepuff. What? <laughs> Until I finally... Um, got like um, after like twenty tries, I got Gryffindor, I think, and I was like, okay, okay, that works. Yeah. <laughs> so, and do you want to like, answer some questions? Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, and I heard you built the giant Lego Harry Potter castle. Yeah, Hogwarts. Yeah. Uh, I they it came with um extra stuff too. It came with the Whomping Willow. Uh, it came with the founders of Hogwarts. Uh, Hagrid's hut. It came with all kinds of stuff. It was awesome too. I, wow. Nathan's gonna help me putting. He's gonna help me put the characters in. It's, I remember it's, when I okay. built that. <laughs> I actually did a craft of my own. A Harry Potter craft of my own. I got a hot glue gun for Christmas. Um, oh, that's cool. Uh, a lot of my friends also got uh, like tools, and I'm like, why do you get tools? for Christmas, but it's fun. So, <laughs> yeah, it's fun, yeah. <laughs> uh, um, so I went over to the park because um, we were really close to the La Brea Tar Pits. Mm -hmm. so, oh, La Brea Tar Pits, uh, yeah. Yeah, so I went over to there um, and I picked up some sticks that I was kind of like playing with with my dad mm -hmm. and um, I used my hot glue gun to make candles and I got a bunch of new acrylic paints for Christmas too. So now That's I have cool. a bunch of handmade wands. <gasps> That's I awesome. I don't have and any wands. I, I need to get And then they even made little hot glue Patronuses. Oh, uh, oh really? So oh, wow. This is my first one. That's um, beautiful. That's awesome. I used a, some little decorations, too. And then I made a little hot glue goldfish Patronus. Oh, that's cute. That's awesome. Yeah, and then this one, I just put a crystal at the top, and then it's covered in crystals here, and I didn't really repeat the handle. This one was kind of one of the more regular ones, because I decided to keep a couple plain. Like, this mm -hmm. one's just plain, plain. Yeah. I decided to keep a couple of them plain, you know, just because. Um, yeah. This one is my dad's. Oh. It has a bunch of cool little shapes on it. With oh, a that's so handle. cool. I, I love the and, handle. Gold. And I used a little mold we had lying around like a cookie cutter to make a little hot for you hippo because he loves hippos. Oh, that's hippos. awesome. Oh, yeah, hippos, yeah. Yeah, my mom's is here somewhere. Um, hers has a lizard at the end. And oh, I love great. lizards. 
<laughs> yeah, me too. Um, this one has um buttons on it and purple handle. Um, and Taylor, hi, I love you too. Taylor's here. You're movie mom, lava girl. <laughs> love you too, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. <laughs> um, and then there's a little bunny hot glue that I made. Um, with the more detailed ones, I made a little circle for the head, a circle for the body, a tinier one for the cotton mm -hmm. tail, and then I made the two ears, and then I hot glued it all together, and that was fun. Oh, that's awesome. And then here I made one with butterflies <gasps> and a red handle. So cute. And then it, I, it, this one did have a butterfly Patronus, too, but it apparently came off. That's weird. Mm -hmm. Um, but basically there are those, and then I made one really big one, this one, and Whoa. I decorate it with fake leaves and stuff from our That's huge. That's awesome. Probably has uh, a lot yeah. of power. Um, but, um, I decorated it with flowers and leaves and stuff. But. That's awesome. Oh, you're so creative. I have, um, this Harry Potter sorting hat. It oh. actually, it's interactive, too. Let me find the button. I, th I used it on my TikTok. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And then yeah. I have this uh, Harry Potter um, picture signed by Daniel Radcliffe himself. Pretty cool. Wow, that's very cool. And then I have the Deathly Hollows Part 1 screenplay. So, pretty <laughs> sick. Yeah. Yeah, I have the Cursed Child screenplay and then all of the actual Oh, books. Cursed Child, yeah. I read the book uh, for the, uh, yeah, for the play. It was yeah. pretty good. Yeah. Anyways, let's answer some questions because I know all you guys want to talk to us. All right, so let's see here. Uh, it's nice and simple right here. Favorite colors. What's your favorite color, baby? Um, uh... As you know, if you play Among Us, uh, turquoise is called cyan, so yep. cyan. Cyan, nice, nice. I like um, silver. Silver's pretty cool. Hmm. Nice and chill. So, all right. Uh, let's answer. Uh... Ooh, this is a good one. What do you prefer more, dogs or cats? I like both, but uh, I don't have a cat. I have cats, two, uh, cats. two Malinois. Cats? All the way. Yeah. All <laughs> I knew you were going to say cats. Um, yep. I, like, I really like both. It's just um, I don't have any cats. I'm a little allergic to them, but I'm kind of getting immune since Nathan has two. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm over there all the time. Uh, but I have, I, I have to go with dogs. I yeah, well, we dogs. do technically have two fosters right now, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're very cute. Their names are Ford and Arthur because we called them the Hitchhiker Kittens because we're reading Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, and um, they are the cutest little fluff balls ever. I think my mom's trying to get them out from under the couch so you can. See. <laughs> oh, there's one. So cute. Oh. <gasps> so this is Arthur. Oh my God. Oh so no, you got lots of meeps, don't you? The meepiest of them all. And now she's coming she's over so with Ford. Ford's a little grayer than Arthur. Mm -hmm. Ooh, you very sleepy, Arthur. Here's Ford. <gasps> oh, my God. They're, both, they're so cute. Oh, my God. I... Well, both of them are going to fall asleep in my lap. Okay, they're going to do the rest of the now. interview with us. Baby, how dare you make me want kittens now. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. They're so cute. Oh, my God. Uh, let's, what is your favorite scene in We Could Be Heroes? You go first, Vivi. What was yours? Probably the stuck at Grandma's house. That was all so fun to film and also so fun to watch. Flipping yeah. over that avatar was pretty fun. You know, guys, uh, one scene they cut out, uh, where I lasso, uh, Vivian, and, uh, they, Nathan grabbed onto me and I, like, fall and she drags us. They cut that out. But it, it it was really fun because they they had us like tied together and then from the wire they would like pull us while Vivian uh would walk or something and yeah it was really fun and then we fell on the mat that was really fun 
I think they showed in a little bit in the behind the scenes video. All right. Uh, what's your favorite song? <laughs> hmm. That's a good, I have a lot of favorite songs. Yeah. I, I'm in the 50s music at the moment, so I'd have to say, like, The Wanderer by Dion. At the Wanderer. Um, uh, I, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, The Wanderer, probably, I'd have to go with. What about you, Vivian? Um, I'm going to go into this one. It's kind of an obscure song. It's called uh, Spirit um, by a band called The Strumbellas. And it goes something like, I got guns in my head and they oh, won't yeah. go. Spirits in my head and they yeah. won't go. I like that one a lot right now, too. That's awesome. That's and awesome. Arthur is almost asleep right now in my lap, so. <laughs> oh, someone asked a good one. What was the most difficult scene? It's in there. What was the most difficult scene? What was what was uh, the most difficult scene, baby? I don't know about, I don't know. I'm trying to think. Huh. <sighs> Wow. Hmm. That's really hard. I think that was all mostly pretty easy, to be honest. I, really? Yeah. Um, but we filmed that, like, two years ago now, so I don't Yeah, I know. That's crazy. That's insane. We filmed that two years ago. That yeah. is... Oh, my God. That's that's insane. Yeah. Uh, the most difficult scene for me... I'm not sure. Really, yeah, like you, all the scenes were pretty easy. Uh, maybe the tram scene wasn't so hard. That was actually really fun to shoot. Um, I would have to say maybe the crying scene where we're all stuck in and we all have to cry and stuff because I was actually trying because I thought I actually had to cry. Like, I didn't uh, know. They were, well, obviously, I thought I knew they were going to put some stuff on, but I wanted to, like, actually cry just to practice my, like, acting ability and stuff. So I, I actually cried on set that day. I uh, never me yeah. and Isaiah were crying, uh, and uh, um, uh, I think, I don't think the camera was on me, but I know that I was actually crying that day, and it was, ins it was crazy, because I just wouldn't stop crying. <laughs> I, yeah, I remember that day. I think that one was hard for me, because I remember in Bird Box, I was covered in glycerin to make it look like I was wet. And that was what they used in my hand for the tears of oh. glycerin. Um, so that yeah. was always uh, so hard because I was covered in that completely during <laughs> Bird Box. And to so realize that I had to work <laughs> with it again was like, no, I don't want <laughs> it. No. <laughs> so that's why they just flashed to the glycerin for like one second because I would yeah. wash my hands a million times and wouldn't do it. <laughs> I know, I know, I forgot. Did we did we do a lot of takes where uh I stretch my arm and I put it in your hand, the my tear teardrop? Because I think we did a couple takes of that. That was um <laughs> it felt kinda weird, didn't it? Like all yeah. the water in your hand, everyone yeah. put in your that, that felt so like sticky and weird. <laughs> yeah, that's the glitch one. And imagine that I had to be covered in that for all the Jeez, those bird yeah. Dogs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for right. sure. So do you let uh let's see here. I think we can answer one more question and then we have a little cool Harry Potter trivia game we're gonna play. Oh yeah, I have my cards right over here. Um Arthur, don't eat my hair, please, Arthur. Thank you. Uh, this is a good one. What's your guys' favorite roles as actors? That's a good one. What, what, maybe, like, let's say, what role would you want to play as an actor in the future? Because you're a really good actor, Vivian. Um, definitely superheroes. I'm really into superheroes. superheroes. Yep. Since, um, like, uh, stuff like Marvel and DC, like, um, of course, since... Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe a cat woman, a young cat, cat woman. woman would be really cool. Yeah. Right? That'd be awesome. Yeah. Um I know. Me? I, know. I would probably want to be I love you guys know me. I love dinosaurs. But to be serious, I would I kind of want to be like a, a in a drama um where I kind of want to play like an actual person maybe who like uh, who's a kind of a legend, but uh, I still want to play, I still want to do, like, action, cool action roles, like, 
Jurassic World and all that stuff. But I, I do want to be like a, a like a drama actor. That'd be cool. Oh yeah, you'd be good in Jurassic World. I can see that. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, jumping off waterfalls and stuff. Um. So all right, we're gonna play this cool Harry Potter trivia game we have planned here. I have the questions. What about you, Vivian? I have mine right here. Awesome. All righty. All right. So, I, I, the last time I read this was, like, before we went to Texas, so I, so I might not be as good as you are, but, <laughs> yeah. All right. It's fine. Uh, so, how about I'll go first? All right. When does Professor, Professor Dumbledore first meet Tom Riddle? Oh, I know, I know this. It's in, um, it's in, uh, what's that? Half-Blood Prince. It's in Half-Blood Prince. I know this. Yeah. It's like, I think it's at the Ministry? Nope. Close, though. It was at, uh, the Orphanage that Tom Riddle was at. Oh, yeah, the Orphanage. Yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Which is the first Horcrux Harry destroys? I... It was in the second book, right? It was yeah, the, yeah. You're, it yeah. was the diary, right? Tom Riddle's yes, diary. Yes, yes. Good job. Yes, yes, yes. You're right. Awesome. Good job. I remember it had something to do with a basilisk, so I tried to Yeah, the basilisk, that. yep. Yeah, because he used Grabbed the basilisk the and... fame. Yeah. yeah. All right. On his search for Rowena Ravenclaw's diadem, Harry speaks with which ghost? I know, I know this one. It's in Deathly Hollows Part Two. Now I don't always know the names. Um, is it? Uh, well, they I, well they don't say the actual name here. So. Yeah, they don't. Is it the Ravenclaw founder? No, herself? that's what we know. Ravenclaw. Yeah, um, is no, it? Is it herself? It's, uh, her daughter, the Grey Lady. Oh, the Lady yeah. Ravenclaw. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I sh should have known that. <laughs> All right. How many house points is Neville awarded for standing up to his friends when they attempt to sneak out of the Gryffindor common room after hours? Ten, it's kind of hard. Right? Only 10, right? Yes, good job. Wow. <laughs> you are destroying me right now. All right. <laughs> um. What spell does Ron use to knock out the troll loose in Hogwarts Castle? Wingardium Leviosa, right? Correct. Yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> I was like, all right. When do young wizards and witches lose the trace? A little hard. Oh, uh, yeah. I remember them talking about this in seven, so isn't it the seventh year? Uh, is that your final answer? Yeah. All right, when they come of age at 17. Yeah, so technically they're 17 years. Technically. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, this one's an easy one. What does the night bus have instead of seats? Wait, say that again? Sorry. What does the night bus have instead of seats? Beds? Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> what make what make and model is Harry's first broom? I think you know this one. Uh, yes. Uh, what's it called? I think it's his firebolt, right? Is that your final answer? No. It's the other one. Uh, uh. Well, since you said the other one, and someone said it in the comments, I'll just say it. It's the Nimbus 2000. Oh, yeah, totally. The Nimbus yeah. 2000. The yeah. owl comes in, drops it, Gonagall yeah. smiles and stuff, yeah. It ends up being from Sirius, right? Yeah. Uh, no, I think the Firebolt's from Sirius. I think the Nimbus 2000's from McGonagall, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah. Because I know in yeah. Goblet of Fire, he's like, Accio Firebolt comes to him. So I don't, I don't think, I think Sirius gave him that. Um, yeah. All right. What? Oh, wait. Is it your? Oh yeah, it's my turn. 
who finds Harry and Dudley in the underpass after the Dementor attack in the fifth book? Oh, the la- the old the old lady. Um, I don't know her name. Uh, the one with all the cats. Yeah. Uh, her I thought it was something. Is it like Esperanza or something? No, it's a. Uh, uh, they only say Mrs. Her last name. Um, uh, it's a type of fruit. Type of fruit. Yeah. Huh. Mrs. I don't know. Uh, I'm kind of stuck here. <laughs> um. It was Mrs. Fig. Mrs. Okay. Yeah. I. I yeah. Because s- remember, she ended up being a squib. Oh yeah. All right. Uh, that uh, Squid has always been funny to me because I play this game with my dad where I'll run at him at, on the bed and he he'll knock me down. Um, <laughs> and I call it Squid because it's like um he's moving his arms like a squid, but he always calls it Squid for some reason. He'll never call it Squid, and I don't know <laughs> why. But now it always reminds me of Harry Potter, so it reminds me of that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, what relation are Albus and Aberforth Dumbledore? Dumbledore? They're brothers. Yes. Correct. Uh, Good job. According to the legend, what is inside the Chamber of Secrets? A monster. Yeah. Uh, I don't, I don't, it oh, just says the spiders a monster. are scared of. Yeah, it just says a monster. That yeah, the a monster. Are scared of. But um, it's the basilisk. Yeah, basilisk. Yeah. All right. The Grim, final one. The Grim is an omen of what? The Grim is an omen of death, right? Yes, correct. All right. Who is taken captive when Harry goes face goes to face Voldemort in the Forbidden Forest after the Battle of Hogwarts? Hagrid. Yep, correct. Yeah, because he carries him and Neville does the whole speech. Yeah. Well, that was really fun. Yeah, um, I've got a, a couple more cards here if you want to do some extra. Oh, well, yeah, sure. I guess we have the time. Yeah? Sure. yeah. Just brush up on some skills. I bet my mom could uh, send you some more cards if she has time. Oh, sure. All right. Um, who does Harry invite to Slughorn's Christmas party? Mm, Slughorn's Christmas party. Serious? I don't know. Who he is? invites Luna Lovegood because he takes uh, Luna Lovegood as his date. Oh. Um, yeah. uh, what type of memory is needed for a Patronus charm to work? See, that's a hard one. Um, pro- I think it might be because uh, I know. He does the um, Patronus when Sirius is in danger. So maybe it's like an um, like an emotional memory. Yeah, happy uh, but powerful. Okay, happy but powerful. Okay. Um, on their quest for the Philosopher's Stone, Harry, Ron, and Hermione need to catch what flying object? Um, oh, the key. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. The flying key. All right. So, do you want to start? Do you want to take a little more questions from the fans since we have the time? Yeah, sure. All right. Let's see here. So, you guys, have any questions? Just. Uh, oh, that's a good one. What is your favorite subject? Mine's personally science. Love science. Yeah, I love science, too. We're learning about germs right now, and my dad's ordering bubble wrap so we can, like, um, well, not germ cells, so we can, like, make a bunny rabbit out of it and see the um, cells and stuff. So probably science, but also I'm doing logic puzzles and math right now, and I love logic puzzles, so maybe right now I'll math. Math? What, what I'm learning in science right now, I know it might sound kind of convenient, guys, but um, I'm learning about fossils and... And uh, dinosaurs and stuff, so that's pretty cool. Ooh, Love science right now. Yeah. Uh, all right. Favorite 
favorite scene favorite scene to film together hmm there's a lot of favorite scenes i i it was such a fun time uh especially with you vivian you're such a great actor uh it was so cool working with you um so i, I don't know there's uh, I don't think I was there with you, but it was so funny when you smacked your head. <laughs> yeah, that was really funny. Um, yeah. yeah, the uh, lemonade one was really fun to film. Oh, yeah, the lemonade too. one. Yeah, oh, and the, when they did the wrap around it. I oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, what am I talking about? Yeah, the last one, that's my fa yeah, that's favorite scene to film with you. Yeah, yeah that was and so I fun. I see some people in the comments are asking what our Hogwarts houses are. Again. Our Hogwarts houses. I'm a Slytherin, and you are? Hey. Yeah. But when I took the test more recently, it said it was a Slytherin. So between Ravenclaw and Slytherin. Cool. Um, let me see if there's any in the comments. You can I see just if asked, there's any. I, I think I might have pronounced that wrong, but is it Jessette or Jessette? I'm sorry. <laughs> I think we might have. I think we and that was the first one we answered. But my favorite color is silver. Hi, Lexi. <laughs> Hi, Lexi. All right. Um, what's your favorite movie? Oh, that's it. Mine's Jurassic Park. Hundred percent Jurassic Park. Yeah, Jurassic Park's a really good one. Yeah. That's one of my favorites, too. But I remember when I was younger, my favorite was that Disney one, Inside Out, where all the emotions oh, go yeah, on and adventure. Yeah, with all the emotions. Yeah, that That's one was movie. my favorite. Yeah. Hi, Sanaya. Hi, Brazil. Is that, is that how you say it, Sanaya? I do not speak Spanish. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, what's your favorite Robert Rodriguez movie? Oh, mine's uh, from *Dust Till Dawn* with the vampires. That one's a good one. I, I haven't I, seen uh, that one. The only ones I've really seen are <laughs> *Spy Kids* and *Struck by Mama Girl*. Mama Girl. But yeah. I think *Spy Kids* three probably that was really cool. Viv did kill it. She did. Oh, and hi, Bella. Hi, hi, America. <laughs> cool name. What is your favorite dessert? Hmm. Yeah, Mine's... another one here is what's your favorite food as well. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, favorite dessert is probably chocolate cake. I love oh. the richness to it. And then uh, favorite food is probably steak and shrimp. I like seafood. So, yeah. Yeah, mine, my favorite food is a tofu rice bowl from Yuko Kitchen. Um, that's nice. that's yeah. one of my favorites. They had, tofu, they had tofu on site, and it was my first time trying it, and I actually kind of liked it. It was pretty good. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I think really they had that. tofu chicken. And pretty my good. favorite dessert is probably, have you ever heard of Jolly Llama Pops? They're like push-up pops. I really no, I've really never heard those. But they're I've like push-up pops. They're like oh, that's cool. Oh, and I hi, Barbara. Vivian, I don't think you... Did you ever go there? But there's this um, smoothie place. I, th I think it was a smoothie place. Yogurt smoothie place right next to our hotel or set. It was, oh, it yeah. was really good. Jamba Juice. Yeah. yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, oh I, think, I yeah. think it was Jamba Juice. I think. I don't know. Yeah. I think it was Jamba Juice. Yeah, totally. Jamba Juice is so good. I love Jamba Juice. Um, Someone up here asked, what is your favorite Harry Potter character? That's a good one. Mine's Draco Malfoy. Not just because he's a uh, Slytherin, but uh, because his story's so unique. And it's like he's being manipulated and, like, poked and prodded from, like, every person. Snape and Lucius and... Uh, um, yeah, Snape was pretty cool, too. I like Snape. He's, yeah, he's, cool. he's really nice. And, uh, I, um, uh, Narcissa, Malfoy's mom, she's really sweet, too. Well, she helps Harry... Yeah. Um, I like <laughs> Madam Pomfrey's funny. <laughs> Hi, uh, Isado. Ooh, um, oh God, really? I didn't know her. She said her favorite is Luna Lovegood. Luna is really cool. Yeah. Luna's cool. Yeah, she she's pretty unique, pretty cool character. 
Uh, Te Amo, Te Amo, Mexico. I think I said that right. Te, Te Amo, yeah, Te Amo. What's your favorite ice cream flavor? Oh, that's mm, that's a good one. Um, mine is probably raspberry sorbet, if that counts as an ice cream flavor. If not, counts. um, raspberry or uh, a uh, strawberry. I was about to say strawberry is kind of mine too, but I I've been going to Nathan's house a lot, and he uh eats a lot of coffee ice cream, and we like ate like a whole uh tub of uh coffee ice cream, and I like love it now. Yeah. I like vanilla though. Vanilla is probably my favorite. My those are my dad's favorites, coffee and coffee. Milk. Yeah, he likes those. Just has that taste. It's so like nice, you know. It's not like normal coffee because I'm not a coffee guy. I'm a tea guy, so it's like just has that nice taste. Uh, hola, Mexian, Mex, Mex, I, Mexianos. I think that Mexicanos, Mexicanos. Who, I think I said. Who that right. did you first meet on set? Uh, I met Nathan at the chemi chemistry read. I met Nathan and Yaya at the chemistry read first. I and think then... I met you first. Oh, yeah. yeah you, I think yeah. we were in the van together. Yeah, because you got there late. And then you were on my van. You were on my van and I met you and stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and someone else says, what's your favorite sport back there, right? Um, I think so. I don't know. Yeah, sport. Favorite sport, tennis or swimming. Um, yeah, mine's probably swimming. I love to go swimming. Can I, can I yeah, it? you're a shark. You're a baby shark. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and got my water. Oh, need hydration. All right, well, I probably got to go feed my kid. <laughs> yeah, I got to yeah, probably yeah. feed Scar. Um, yeah, uh, well... Uh, thank you, everybody, and thank you, Ryan, for this wonderful opportunity. Yeah, I thank you. Can thank you for coming. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't wait to film the sequel with you. It's going to be awesome. I can't wait to go back, and thank you guys for joining us and asking us these awesome questions, and it's been such an honor to talk to you, Vivian. Have your time. Thank you. Yeah. All right. I hope to do this again soon. Yeah. Bye. Bye.